Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Baseball Talk Radio Show. I'm Gary Mack. And Rich Baxter over here. How you doing, Gary? I'm doing good, Rich. How are you? Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Not bad at all. Just uh, came and went just as fast, but one of my favorite times of year, traditionally, uh, turkey, ham, and all the trimmings. Uh, definitely a festive time. Um, love it. Love the holidays. Black Friday weekend, of course. We're through that just barely, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, the next big holiday, of course, and the holiday season. And that baseball hot stove is heating up. And God, your your video just left the screen. Yeah, just momentarily. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, we go. There you are. There I am. Uh, yeah, it it is uh, quite a time of the year, and uh, thank God the weather's still been mild, Rich, so we haven't had that uh, issue to worry about too much. That's true, yeah. The uh, snow and all that stuff can stay away for as long as it likes, and uh, I'll keep looking at those spring training home pictures uh, that we see occasionally <laughs> just to keep the spirits up, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that hot stove's starting to bubble, but, you know, I hear it's not the player's market this off season. Yeah, it, uh, it, you know what? It's going to be a tough season to figure because of uh, all that has been going on uh, with the COVID and all of that. So, uh, you know, it's it's. I, I don't think people know whether or not there's even going to be a baseball season, and but... They're going to have to uh, move fast, and we've got the baseball meetings uh, coming up. I think it's the 9th. Uh, I could be wrong about that. But um, uh, also, today is a non-tender deadline day. So if uh, teams are going to non-tender players, today's the day. And I think we're going to see, according to all the reports, we're going to see a lot of action in that regards. Yeah, yeah, a lot of player movement. Been hearing a lot about Chris Bryant moving probably out of Chicago, maybe someone else joining him. Um, as you said, some some meetings and things uh, scheduled to take place within baseball. So uh, traditionally, you know, taking out of the COVID situation, it's, Traditionally, a, a fun time of year for the off season, but this year, of course, uh, with the COVID situation still going strong, it's it's definitely taking precedence on what's going to happen for the future. Yeah, it certainly is, and and uh, you know, like we said, we don't know. Are we going to go into shutdown again, January twenty first after uh, the uh, president uh, gets inaugurated. He, he's talked about that. Biden has. And, and is he going to shut down the country again? Uh, you know, we have a vaccine that's going to be out in a few weeks. So that that could be uh, something that stops that. But uh, everything is so uncertain right now that we don't really know what the heck is going on anymore. Yeah, even the Biden presidency is somewhat <laughs> still well, up true. in the air. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's up in the air as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't know what's going to work out with that. Uh, but uh, I'm, you know, you listen to some of these accounts, Rich, and it's just amazing. Uh, the the uh, when somebody says there's no fraud, and then you hear all these people testifying <laughs> about fraud, it's just. It's nuts. It's just plain crazy. But uh, that's that's, I guess that's a story for another show. And uh, yeah. you know, we've had some uh, executives leave. Theo Epstein left the Cubs, and he was making a lot of money. Rich. Yeah, there must be an underlying story underneath that somewhere that we don't know, and nobody else knows but Theo. But yeah, there's definitely. Uh, something in the air who knows i mean madden left there too so maybe the ownership in chicago is really tough maybe something was said after the cubs did not make it again 
uh, high into the playoffs and World Series. Uh, never know. It's just uh, kind of a crazy world we live in these days. But uh, one thing's for sure, um, it looks like Chris Bryan is out of there as well. Yeah, it it looks like they're shopping him around big time. And uh, he will be a goner, but, you know, he's coming off a bad year, Rich, and um, they're going to look for a lot for him, and I'm not so sure it's, it's going to be worth it if people are going to take the chance. Yeah, with the uh, COVID situation still very much uh, in the forefront, there is vaccines on the way, but will it be in time enough for spring training? It, Time is charging along here and probably will not be. So I'm sure there'll be some sort of sliding scale salary type of situation going on again within baseball. I was listening a little earlier today uh, to one of the talk shows on MLB Network, and it's just not a player's market this year. A lot of these guys are going to have it tough to find a team that's going to sign them for a significant amount of money. Yeah, they'll be they'll be uh the top guys will get their money. They always seem to get it anyway. Um but it's those other guys, those, you know, B uh, tier players that it gets tough to to uh find out about and um I just don't see a lot of people I I don't know, you know, we we have a new owner in New New York here and everybody wants them to go out and make a big splash and spend money. But uh, I I don't know if they're going to be willing to because of the whole, like you said, the whole COVID thing. And uh, I don't think people realize what a big stopper that is for everybody, for teams right now, especially to uh, not want to do anything till they get more of a word of what the heck is going on with that. Yeah, it's going to be a, a wait and see call it as you see it type of year uh, a lot of big free agent names of course jt real muto everybody seems to want uh to sign him as you set up in new york they have a probably a short list of a few stars that they'd like to get on the team and um it'll be interesting to see where some of these players end up uh down in miami the new gm down there kim I, I guess you pronounce it Nin. Nin? Uh, ne, uh, eh. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it's I think it's Ang or Nang. We'll call her Kim N for now, Kim but she N. made yeah. <laughs> she made her first trade as a GM, uh, acquiring a relief pitcher. So she's on on the board there for the first trade ever from a female GM there, and. Uh, as you said, New York has new ownership. The Braves uh, wanting to continue their winning ways. Uh, they've been rumored to be after a couple starting pitchers, maybe Charlie Morton, perhaps. Um, that'll be interesting to see if they get him, if they go after him, and where some of these superstars will end up, because it could have a big impact on on a twenty one season. It's it's gonna have a huge impact, and and uh, like you say, we don't know what's going on. We know Rob Manfred is uh, uh, moving ahead, planning on the twenty twenty one season, as he is trying to figure out how to shove more corporate advertising into the equation. What he's looking into, Rich, is putting advertisements on MLB uniforms now. You know, for years we've had the the logo on the sleeve of the manufacturer who made the uniforms for the uh, MLB, whether it be Majestic or Rawlings before that, going back a bit. Uh, and and uh, last year was Nike, and Nike uh, took the swoosh and put it on the, the chest, which I think looks ridiculous. But uh, so be it, you know. Um, they let them do it. I don't see why they couldn't have left it on the sleeve where it's it's you it can be seen, but it's not as obtrusive to the uniform. Um, and now he's looking to put 
other ads to allow other ads on the shirt sleeves and on the side of the batting helmet. So we could see, uh, oh, I don't know, you know, like uh, Jiffy Lube on the sleeve and on the batting helmet have a nice big Subway uh, <laughs> logo sticker uh, put on there. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I guess the rich get richer and... Uh, you know, it, it just seems that, that Manfred's only interested in making money for the owners, which is part of his job, granted. Uh, but it's also part of his job to keep the betterment of the game. But, it, I, you know, I don't know. It just kind of struck me as odd and uh, um, something that, that didn't seem quite right. Yeah, you see this in foreign baseball and I'm thinking Korea, maybe Japan even. Uh, and it doesn't look good in my opinion, you know, um, for the money that they'll get. <laughs> I just don't see them um, walking around advertising uh, different companies like that. I mean, maybe it'll happen, but I, I think it cheapens the whole baseball experience myself. Well, yeah, I I think it does. I mean, I could I could live with the ads on the uh, the outfield walls. You know that that's sort of an old tradition that goes back to the real old ballparks, um, and then they got away from it for years, and then they brought it back. But I don't that I don't seem you know that doesn't bother me too much. Uh, but I think when you start putting it on the uniforms and and you know, they're going to look like the race car drivers or whatever all of a sudden with logos all over the uniforms. And um, what happens if a player, uh, let's say a player uh, represents uh, Ford, let's say, right? uh -huh. the Ford Motor Company locally. He represents a dealership. And... Uh, General Motors or a Chevy or a uh, Chrysler or a uh, Jeep or something wants uh, gets a contract with MLB. So is he going to – how is his, uh, you know, his local affiliate with a Ford going to look with him having a Jeep uh, uh, thing on his short, on his sleeve? I, yeah. It's just I, – I don't know if there's going to be conflicts of interest here. It, it just seems, as you said – I think you put it uh, perfectly. The word is tacky. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look as professional. And uh, but you know that that's what Manfred's been up to. That and ruining the game of uh, minor league baseball. Yeah, and trying to impose more rule changes, of course, on the MLB things that they were talking about, uh, starting a runner at second and extra innings, all that jazz. Uh, it's just, it's way too much. It's over the top uh, for me. Uh, but, you know, if you've listened to the show for a long time, you know our feelings on it. We'd love to know your feelings. So feel free to send us a comment. Um, you can re reach us at rich at baseballtalkradio.com or Gary at baseballtalkradio.com. If you have something to let us know what you feel about a, a topic, please let us know. We'll, bring it up on a show um and uh also check out our podcast our home for baseball talk radio show is at anchor.fm forward slash baseball talk radio show and uh there you can subscribe to the show you can also sponsor us by hitting the support link which is in the center tab uh, on the top there, as soon as you get to our main page, you can send us a message right through there or even subscribe on Spotify. So a uh, ton of things you can do there uh, for our podcast, our podcast listeners. We're always uh, looking to build on the show. And um, Gary, I'm going to roll through a little stat so far uh, for this month on Anchor. And maybe I'll even try to do a screen uh screenshot for our youtube listeners of course you yeah. know we're on youtube as well um 
and we're we're still in an infancy of of making that better <laughs> but we're, we're trying. working on it <laughs> yeah like right now for instance i'm at a loss to find okay here i am uh all this complicated <laughs> machinery we use to uh broadcast this stuff it's amazing all right so here's our our screen here our top episodes as you can see we're pretty steady with listeners across the blue bars there. Top listeners, 89% out of U.S., 5% jolly old England. Hello, England. <laughs> 1% in good old Ireland, uh, potatoes and oh, cabbage good. and some ham. <laughs> All right, over on the right, we have the podcast listeners, 72% Apple Podcasts. Uh, 4% right from the Anchor page. So you guys that hit us up from Anchor, we thank you. Uh, uh, Overcast at 3%, which I've never used. Maybe I'll try it out sometime. Amazon Alexa, we can be heard right through your wow. Amazon Alexa. Just Hello, Alexa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and most um, podcast uh, listening, like your Google Home devices, all you have to do is say, play the latest podcast from the Baseball Talk Radio Show, and you're going to hear our show come out nine times out of ten. If you hear me and Gary, you know you're at the right place. Uh, 18... <laughs> <And it> <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> well... Tr keep trying. <laughs> All right. So our age groups, we've got a big listenership uh, from 45 to 59 and uh, everywhere in between. 88% male listeners, 12% are the ladies. Thank you very much out there, ladies. And um, so that's where you can find us online um, to listen to the show. Watch us if you want to find us on YouTube. And, Gary, you let me know last week we had a ton of views on YouTube. Yeah, we had uh, a lot of views, uh, you know, for us, uh, some people may not think, but with 239 views, 240 views last week, which was uh, quite uh, good for us. Thank you, everybody. We're not that greedy. We're, we're happy with that. And uh, we want to try to get them every week like that. That would be nice to, to get that as a baseline and... Uh, you know, it, it's a tough business and it's tough getting people to listen and, and to, uh, to watch, but, uh, we're going to try to do some things with the video. We were going to try some today, but unfortunately we had some technical errors and, and, uh, just decided to go ahead and do the show. But, you know, we're trying to add little, uh, doodads, um, like sharing a screen or adding some pictures in or, uh, little subscribe buttons and things like that. So, um, you know, we, we're trying, and uh, we'll see if we can pull it together one of these weeks. So, uh, uh, But uh, we could use your help. So, uh, as Rich said, go to anchor.fm, baseball talk radio show. You can uh, support us right through there. You can become uh, a supporter of the show. Or you can go to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash baseball talk and, <clears throat> excuse me, and and uh, leave a donation there for us. Become a patron, um, whatever you can, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be glad uh, if you did. So enjoy that. And uh, Rich, back to, unless you have anything else to say about that, back to baseball. No, no, I'd love to invite you over to the Patreon page. We need subscribers. It helps us do uh, certain things, get different equipment. Gary's always up, upping the show on the video end and the audio end. So, you know, everything we get, we would plow right back into the show. And there's a lot of shows. I got to tell you, there's a lot of listeners that support their shows. And I think it's great. I listen to podcasts myself. Um, some of these guys make a, a pretty darn good living at it. Right now, we have no subscribers on Patreon, and I think that's a, a shame. We don't really push it. That's probably why we don't have any subscribers. But stop on over to Patreon. It's the biggest uh, company in the Internet that does this sort of stuff for 
you know, uh, providers like us. It's patreon.com forward slash baseball talk dollar a month, folks. If you listen to our show, we'd appreciate having you on board. Even if it's, you know, something like we get 10 or $20 a month, we can put that into equipment and stuff. And, and you guys will benefit from that being that we'll be able to bring you a better show. So I invite you to stop over if you can. I know times are a little tough with a lot of you, um, but think about it. Yeah, and and whatever you can give, we we'd be happy with. So, exactly. I've seemed to have slowed up my video uh, for some reason, and let's see why that is. But uh, I'll keep talking here. I yeah, it I might know. be it might be those fancy graphics here. <laughs> Could be. But anyway, uh, while you work that out, I'll get to our next uh, topic here. Uh, the Boston Red Sox looking for a, a big name uh, pitcher, Corey Kluber, uh, possibly going to end up in Boston. Uh, that's another Boston and Chicago, Gary, are two like um, franchises in baseball all of a sudden. You seem to do a good job for him. And then you're, you're looking for a new job <laughs> before <laughs> too long, but uh, now they're looking for uh, Corey Kluber and they, they're the front runners from what we've been reading and taking a look at, of course, um, JT room, Muto, the top catching prospect in all the land, uh, great teammate. He was on the Phillies last year. Other Phillies players are begging the Phillies to sign JT Real Muto. Uh, just unfortunately, I don't think that they're going to able to meet their the long demand of what he's looking for, and in a year, um, and a several years for that matter. But um, you know, he those are two of the top free agents available: Corey Kluber and JT Real Muto today. So yeah, and we'll see where looking, they end up. He's looking for a lot. Yeah. He's looking for King's yeah. Ransom, and I'm not sure if he's going to get it, though. You know, catching is a primo condition, uh, a position now, and people are looking, and uh, you never know. The Mets are looking for, for catching. Um, whether or not they would make want to make a splash and, and uh, go with him at this point, I don't know. The thing that scares me is he's 30 years old. Um, 30 years old is is not old, but for catcher it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I'm not so sure I'd want to go that way. There's uh, uh, McCann, James McCann, I think it is, of the White Sox, who's also available, is very good catcher. Um is, there's been some talk about Yadi Molina, who I definitely would stay away from at 38 years old. Uh, let him stay with the Cardinals. But, um, you know, uh, there, there could be some interest. There's, a, it, there's interest for Rio Muto, definitely. It's just uh, how much and, and whether or not that contract's going to go. Yep, and uh, a big name that hasn't hit the market before will be there this year, Ryan Braun, right fielder. Um, apparently the Brewers are, are letting him walk. Um, I don't know. He, he might flourish somewhere in the uh, National League, Gary, maybe uh, over there in uh, Queens. Maybe. Um, I, I think part of the problem, too, some of these guys are going to have this year, Rich, is that we don't know whether or not the DH is going to be back this year. They said no, or if it's going to be back in the future. And a lot of these guys were counting on that. They were counting on uh, the DH coming back, and they could hook on like a guy like Braun, uh, who could uh, stay off the field and, and avoid injury. And, and he had a decent year last year, did a lot of DHing for Milwaukee, um, he's not the same player he was in his MVP years by no means, but still has a potent enough bat. 
uh, in a DH role. Um, <clears throat> uh, but, um, uh, you know, we don't know whether that is going to be back or what, what the deal is with the DH this year. So uh, it could just... Uh, it, it just could be, uh, you know, a tough situation for, as I say, some of these guys to uh, to think uh, that they can get a job. Yeah, that's why this off season is going to be interesting. Of course, staying safe for these players still paramount. We've had one of the worst days uh, since April, is what I heard on the news. As far as deaths with the COVID, so there's there's still a, a national emergency going on as we're doing this podcast. So, you know, we're all human beings. So these players are still, you know, got that in the back of their minds too. You know that. Well, sure. Yeah, it's something you have to worry about, and and you know, uh, um, like you say, they're human beings. And Rich, you know, I I came across this this stat and or actually uh, somebody had posted this and I don't know how true it is but um, he, you know getting back we were talking earlier about Rob Manfred but his big thing was about how long the baseball games are and uh, this this came out and I don't know how true it is but uh, I thought it was pretty interesting the way the guy says it's a meme and the guy says baseball games are too long and boring and then they have the average length of an NFL game is three hours and 12 minutes. And the average length of a MLB game was three hours and five minutes. The average length of action in an NFL game, and I don't know how they measure that, but this is what they're saying. Average length of action is 11 minutes in a uh, National Football League game, and the average length of action in a baseball game is 18 minutes. So when they say the games are too long and boring, uh, according to this stat, whoever put these together, the uh, baseball is seven minutes shorter in length, and the action is seven minutes more. There's seven minutes more of action in a baseball game than a football game. So I, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, uh -huh. <coughs> excuse me. You know, uh, this is what uh, they're saying, this guy says. and uh, But I thought it was an interesting uh, stat, and I thought I'd, I'd mention it. That's awesome. Um yeah, there's never a lack of action in baseball. Yeah, it is a uh, a summertime game, so it's a, a slower pace than say hockey or football. Um, yeah, but definitely. I don't think it's a, a a game that lacks action, and I don't find it to be a problem the length of games myself, as we've said. And and again, if you listened to the show before, I. Sorry for repeating myself, but I don't seem to think there was a big backlash from any fans, except maybe casual fans that don't have an attention span, maybe. <laughs> That's not our fault. Yeah, how true is that? I I, 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 I just think that, that um, you know, I, I keep referring back to a study I read a couple of years ago, and if you asked the people that went to the games, they didn't think it was too long uh, to be there. And yet, if you ask people that watched it at home on television, they thought the games were too long. So I, I guess it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. It depends upon where you're at. Uh, if you're there, you're there, and you want to enjoy it, I think. And, and I don't... You know, I don't want to go to a game and have a fast game and be home in a half an hour or two hours or something like that. I like going to a game and spending a few hours. I don't want to spend six hours or ten hours there, but I like spending some time at a game. And, and uh, 
you know, who wants to get to a game, grab a hot dog, and then it's the eighth inning already. Um, That's for sure. You know, <laughs> you know uh, a, a 59, I, I, 59 minute special yeah. pitcher's duel. I want time for uh, tacos too, you know, or nachos or something. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, it's almost like, you know, these golfers that play um, speed golf. And uh, hell, if I'm paying my hundred dollars to play around a golf, I wanna, I, I wanna spend time. Unfortunately, these courses they push you through, and now they have time limits. If you don't do it in a certain time limit, they they won't let you go on the back nine and stuff. And it's incredible, it's it's ridiculous, and I don't think it's fair. I know it's their job to push through, you know. Uh, amount of players and whatnot, but um, I don't particularly care for that, and I don't particularly care for a quick ball game either, because uh, then it, it means you got to watch something else that may not be as interesting. Let me just leave it at that before I get in trouble. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, uh, with the holidays around the corner, of course, you got plenty of options for gifts and things like that. Baseball, it's always great to get your baseball fan, somebody special you know, that baseball gift. I know I've always appreciated them uh, over the years. So uh, keep that in mind for your holiday shopping. Um, Gary, I, I think we'll close the um, shutters up on this show a little early. We just wanted to get out there and thank our listeners for staying with us through the holidays, the off season. Uh, give them some updates on what we found out about certain players and things like that. And uh, we'll stay with you in December as well. Now that it's already December, we'll have two more shows before New Year's and um, start talking about spring training hopefully soon. Uh, yeah, we'll have the winter meetings pretty soon to uh, talk about. And I, Again, I forget the dates. My mind's not as sharp as it used to be. Uh, but uh, we'll have that and uh, any other things that occur. That's for sure. Well, stay safe, everyone out there. Keep those hands washed. Wear your masks like this one here or whatever you happen to have. <laughs> Keep them worn and uh, stay safe, everyone. <laughs>